We have heard it time and time again when hiring a contractor, get references and do your research. Well, tonight a San Antonio gym owner who's learned the hard way is sharing his story to help others avoid the same nightmare. Here's Darian Trotter's Problem Solver. Texas Muscle and Fitness is a gym unlike any other. It's where members are more than members. When you're a part of the gym, you're really a part of a family. And where staffers work hard to provide a number of self-care services. Bobby, do you want to get cleaned up? Like a barber shop and a massage studio. We want to take care of the person um, holistically. Gym owner Sean Phillips decided October last year to expand knocking down walls to increase the size of his gym by 1,300 square feet. The $30,000 renovation called for drywall, new lighting, paint, and more, with a goal of having the work finished within two months. And so I picked a guy that can, said he can do it the fastest. He says he now knows he hired the wrong guy. This guy, Keith Dennis, owner of Expectus. Red paint, you can see that it's red, has paint on it. Sean says when Keith Dennis and his crew from Expectus spray paint at the ceiling, they left droplets and driplets of bright red paint all over the gym's floor and equipment. Uh, members were, were, were upset, you know, because they sit on something and they'd have paint remnants all over their clothes. And that's not all. We're missing two of these hexagon style lights. Sean says when he ordered six new light fixtures with Keith Dennis and expect us. Only four of them showed up. Then there's the indoor turf. They delivered outdoor turf. Turf, Sean says Keith Dennis left outside for weeks until someone stole it. It's tough, it's tough. Sean turned to the problem solver after attempts to work things out with Keith Dennis were unsuccessful. At first, he says Keith Dennis was full of excuses. Everything under the sun from, hey, I got shot, I'm, I'm busy, I don't have the money, I don't have time. Then he says excuses turned to ghosting, and he's not heard from Keith Dennis and the crew from Expectus in months. I've reached out to him to, um, you know, get try to recoup something, get our money back. Instead, he says he's had to fork over even more money toward the renovation he already paid for. The things that he didn't do, we're having to repay double to have someone else do it. While Sean was striking out trying to reach Keith Dennis, Keith Dennis was apparently posting affirmations on social media. This one posted by Keith Dennis March of last year boasted, you only get what you put in. Most of us are afraid to put in more than what's required. Most will never go the extra mile. Oh, and there's more. From now on, he says, anything I do, I'm giving 100 percent, end quote. These declarations came after what's been devastating here. For us, for our members, for um, our bottom line. We looked into Keith Dennis and Expect Us. The company's slogan proudly displayed reads, turning houses into homes. This video posted on Facebook shows several seemingly successful installs for TV mounts where customers seem pleased with Keith Dennis and Expect Us. But we also found unfavorable reviews. This one on Google says probably had good intentions, accepted this job and was in way over his head. He did not deliver the product we expected. The unhappy patio customer went on to say he might be able to deliver in mounting TVs and other home services, but he should definitely exclude patio and concrete. I've communicated to him, hey, you're hurting our business. Hey, you're hurting our business. He says what? Uh, I'm sorry, um, I know it still shouldn't look like this. Sean says he's been patient and forgiving whenever Keith Dennis would resurface with apologies on behalf of Expectus the last time back in June, six whole months after the work was to be completed, but not even that worked. He gave us some dates and some times, some specifics, and of course those dates, times, and specifics all passed. Um, and he hasn't shown up since. As a result, Sean says a growing number of gym members aren't showing up either. Because you can't keep people happy if they're getting pain on them, if equipment's dusty, if things aren't right, they don't see progress. They started getting frustrated. 
Stephanie Mejia is a personal trainer at Texas Muscle and Fitness. And we're going to turn around and come back. Because the gym has been under construction for a year now, she's lost clients. I had clients that decided to take a break and they said they'll come back when the um, the construction was over with and it's still not completely over with, so I have some people that still haven't came back. We check with the Better Business Bureau, Keith Dennis, and expect us have a D-plus rating. In this review left last September, a customer is apparently unhappy with an installation and alleged damage and says expect us will not reimburse for a damaged TV. And take a look at this social media post by Keith Dennis, captioned, It has to work or it has to work. No plan B's hashtag I eat success. Sean says the photo was taken inside the gym at a time Keith Dennis was supposed to be working with the crew from Expectus on renovating the gym, not working out. Financially, it's hit, it's hit us really, really hard. Even through all of his obvious disappointment, Sean still shows empathy toward Keith Dennis and Expectus, who all these months later, one year to be exact, still has not come back to complete the work. Times get hard for all of us, but always, always, always do the right thing. Do what you say you're going to do and do it. Now we did reach out to Keith Dennis over two months. We tried email, a phone call that he did respond to with a text. Check it out. It reads, hey, may we ask who's calling currently on the other line. After responding, Fox San Antonio reporter Darian Trotter, he went ghost, no other responses. Now gym owner Sean Phillips admits he did not do his research. Instead, he says he took Keith Dennis at his word. He now hopes his story serves as a reminder to others. I'm Fox SA's investigative problem solver, Darian Trotter. Thank you for watching. Click the like and subscribe button to get all your latest headlines right here at Fox SA.